Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the Discord is not opening on your PC whenever you are trying to launch it. Then how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into step one by one. So the first and famous step sometimes in our that local cache generated can bring a lot of mess. So we need to clear the local cache generated. To do so, we just need to go over here, search for the run command and press enter. This time we need to type percentage app data. You have to type percentage app data then go for percentage once again and press enter that's going to take it this and go to the discord folder and right now over here in the discord you can see we have a folder named cache code cache and also the gpu cache so select the first one the cache right click and go for the trash icon and similarly it says the action cannot be complete because the folder or the file isn't being opened right now so what you need to do is you just need to minimize this and go over here search for the task manager and you have to click on the task manager and once the task manager pop up, you have to check whether the Discord is running. As you can see right now, the Discord is running here. So right click and go for end the task and make sure the Discord is completely removed from here. Once the Discord is removed, now we have to go back to the folder and find the cache folder first one. Right click and go for the trash icon. And similarly, go for the code cache. You have to and delete it as well. And go for the GPU cache. Right click and go for the trash icon as well. Once these deleted, you have to close this and try opening your Discord whether it's working or not. If it's working, you're fine with it. But if it's not working, don't worry. I have few more steps. Match trend is all about go over here on the Discord app, right click and directly go to show more options and navigate to the properties and go to the compatibility. Make sure you uncheck this and you have to put a check on disable full screen optimization and also put a check on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for OK and you have to check. That might work in some cases. If not, we need to allow the game to the Windows security. So just go over here, search for the Windows security and click on the Windows security. Now from here, what we need to do is, sorry, not this one. We have to search for the Windows Defender. Go over here, search for the Windows Defender. And you have to click on this particular one over here. And right now, once the Windows Defender is popping up, or either you can go in this way, or I have a shortcut that is all about, just go to the control panel and navigate to the Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, click on allow an output feature to Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down, check whether the disk code is added here or not. Most probably, as you can see, the disk code is added and you have to make sure that you put a check on both the boxes, private and public. But if you don't find the disk code here, we need to add it, just click on the change setting and go to allow another app. We need to navigate to the disk code folder. So if you don't know where the Discord is installed, this is what you have to do. Just minimize everything over here. Go to the Discord, right click and go to open file location. And that's going to give you this the Discord is installed over here. So copy this particular one. Now close this and go back to the Windows Defender. Now go to allow another app and go to the browse and go over here at the top, remove this and you have to paste it and press enter. Now we can see we'll be able to find the Discord here and you have to sell the Discord and go for add it. And once the Discord is successfully added, you are fine with it and you have to check. Now, after adding the Discord here, you have to check and stay if you're having the trouble. The last step is all about just go over here, search for the settings, and you have to get into the settings. Now, from here, directly go to Amps. I would install at Amps. Now, from here, you have to search here for the Discord. You have to search here for the Discord and click on the three dot menu and go for uninstall. And afterwards, you have to reinstall back the Discord and you have to check. So these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.